Hi, welcome to Diane's Cards. I wonder if you uh, can notice something different about this card. It has one of our honeycomb embellishments on it, and this one is not the color, one of the colors that comes in the container. This is Calypso Coral. If you look in the container, you'll see some that are Blushing Bride, you'll see some that are Mint Macaron, and you'll see some that are white. Well, if you want a different color, you can make them a different color, just like I made this one, Calypso Coral. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to make this one, uh, Marina Mist. Okay, so you first want to open up your honeycomb all the way. They're actually, I suppose, meant to go all the way around like that. Put on a little paper or something so that your workspace is protected. <coughs> We're going to use one of our spritzers. Stampin' Up Spritzers, and I've already filled this about a third, not quite halfway, with water, and then I'm going to add just some basic uh, rubbing alcohol, and then the magic comes from using our reinker, the Marina Mist reinker, in this case. So you put maybe five, six drops, depending on how intense you want the color. And now I'm going to shake this up, put the, can put the spritzer back. And I've used the spritzer for other colors. Just rinse it out really well, press the spritzer every time. No problem. In fact, here's one I have uh, all set with the Calypso Coral. I'll rinse that out later when I'm finished and it'll be ready to go for a new color. Now, as these get wet, they tend to curl up a little. So I like to have my tweezers at the ready so that I can spread it out a little bit. Okay, Keep it down that way. I'm going to get it on my hands. I've got it all over my fingers. You first want to make sure where is that spritzer. Now, of course, the more you use, the darker the color is going to be. And now, I am going to suggest that you don't let it just dry naturally. I use the heat tool. I put it on the high setting hold it with the tweezers, dries in a minute or two, not much longer. Um, if you let it dry by itself, it tends to get a little soggy maybe on the end. It will dry eventually. But uh, I have one here that I did a little earlier. Now one side has a, uh, what do you call it, little piece of paper to protect the sticky side. One side is sticky, and there it is underneath there, that side's sticky, and then what you're going to do is just take the other side and get your glue dots, take it to the glue dot, and then take another one, the other end, and you'll be all set. I already have this set up with some glue dots on it, so we're all set to go here. And I'm just going to put it on my card, and then when this one, when I dry this one, put that on the bottom, I'm ready to go. So, gives our my card a lot more dimension, and it's just a much more fun card. So, if you would like to try this, you're going to get spritzers, at least one. They're on page 163 in our annual catalog. You need, obviously, you need the honeycomb embellishments. They're from the occasions catalog. You need glue dots. You need our heat tool, Stampin' Heat tool, Stampin' Up Heat tool, and you should. You can do it without the alcohol. Alcohol does help it dry a little quicker, a little more quickly. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll come stop by and see me again sometime. Thank you.